Hey everyone, welcome back to Throttle Grotto. Today I'm in the house again working on wiring for the rabbit and uh, I've made some good progress. So I'll show you guys here in a second. Stay tuned. <music> All right, everybody, I have been hard at work this week on the wiring uh, and, and more specifically the diagrams that I downloaded uh, from the Irwin site that I showed you guys earlier. Uh, they were super helpful because everything was correct, <laughs> which was not the case with the manual that I bought online. Uh, so let me move things around here a little bit and I'll show you what I've gotten done so far and what my goals for today are. Okay, so here is the mess that is my kitchen table right now and my trusty plant over there in the corner. Uh, <laughs> so what I've got, I've got the ECU plug here. I have my OBD plug, which I went and got this morning from a car at the junkyard. Uh, I got my old laptop that I use for uh, VCDS, my VCDS cable, ECU, a battery, some battery terminals, and all of my wiring notes here on two sheets of paper. And some jumper wires. You guys know what this stuff is. Anyway, so this is what I ended up ciphering out so far. Um, I figured out all the terminals that need to have power, ones that go to the accelerator, cap accelerator pedal, uh, there's some that go to the fuel pump, starter relays, um, more to the accelerator pedal, uh, brake booster pressure sensors, oxygen sensors, the CAN bus wiring, uh, and alternator trigger wires, all that stuff is all I basically was able to figure out where all of the wires for this plug belong to. And as someone nice pointed out the other day in the other video, <laughs> These two wires are not airbag, they are for the CAN bus. Um, so my job today is to get power into this plug and get this OBD plug to where it accepts my computer, talks to the ECU, and then I can make sure that the ECU powers up and that I seem to know what I'm doing. Um, if this all, if this all doesn't work, I'll be buying another ECU. <laughs> but fortunately, I expect these things to be cheap for a while. So, uh, so let me do some movie magic here with this whole mess of stuff, and uh, then um, we will, <laughs> then we'll see where see where I'm at. Okay, so this is super ghetto wiring here on, on the kitchen table, but that's okay. This is all temporary. Um, so I have the OBD port wired up with the grounds and the power connected here. I have a green light on my VCDS cable, which means that it's, wor it's working. At least it's getting the power that it needs on this end. Um, I have the OBD leads hooked to the uh, OBD port. Um, and then I have... My power wires for the ECU, which these technically run through different fuses in the car, but right now it's just straight power. And then my ground bundle here. And next step is to fire up the old computer and see if, uh, if I actually get communication. Okay, so let's give this a shot. Let's see if this will work. Okay, I got a little more homework to do on this. I'll get back to you guys in a few minutes. Okay, so I figured out what I did wrong. Um, this wire right here had come apart inside the electrical tape. So let's try this again. Go to the engine. Let's 
Sorry, the computer is really slow. But I'm in. I'm into the ECU, which is awesome. <laughs> and I'm a little amazed that it was that, that simple. Um, so obviously, now we can do a little... Uh, we can do... Well, this should be entertaining. <laughs> Everything is a fault code, I'm sure. Um, yep. Everything is missing. But we can communicate with the ECU now, which is good. Um, so I'm going to take a take a snapshot of this so I can send it off to the tuner with the ECU and uh, we are going to start making progress on this but this is cool this is cool to see it actually working like I got it working on the bench which is kind of awesome so um, and a lot of this stuff will be obviously cleared out well, <laughs> no. <laughs> um, a lot of this will be like taken care of when I hook the other side of the harness up, but there's still going to be a ton of problems we're going to have to work through. So, so there you have it. That was my project for this week was to try to get the wiring sorted out so that I could get some power to this stuff and hopefully scan the ECU. So success. This is step one of a trillion in this process. Um, there's been some comments on the Facebook thread from last week, from, from the first wiring video about how difficult, how many issues I'm going to have uh, getting this to work, and I agree with every single one of those. <laughs> um, but uh, this is a little reassuring that I'm on the right track. This is a big step for me. It's a very small step in the process, but that's all I've got for this week. So until next time, get out there and work on something.